Hey everyone. Uh, I told my story the other day how I struggled to go find some corn because I wanted to can some corn since I had uh, been canning a lot of homegrown green beans, but I don't have a property set up where I could actually grow corn. At least anything substantial. But uh, anyways, uh, I, I was successful. It took me three stores before I finally found what I needed and someone asked me to show how to do this. So here's a video on how to can frozen corn. So actually I had to go uh, deposit some money for rents and so I stopped by Publix that was nearby the bank and uh, they had some of these smaller bags but the ones I got from uh, Walmart which by the way my first Walmart yes today did not have the larger bags of corn they only had things that were half the size or less and so I went to uh, Publix and I was able to at least get two pound bags, but I could have sworn the ones I got the other day were five pound, but uh, don't quote me on that. But that was from a Walmart over by Sam's Club, which Sam's Club did not have corn in a bag like this. They had corn on the cob, but not uh, kernel corn. Anyway, so I've got 10 bags of 32 ounce, and I'm assuming that each bag is going to fill two quart size jars. That's my guess. But I really don't know. So that would be 20. And then I bought. I went to uh, Kroger because I kind of wiped out Publix. And I bought uh, four more bags. And so I think I should be able to get two um, case size quart jars. Now, one of the things you want to do when you get started is uh, get some filtered water. Because it's better when you're canning to use filtered water depending on your water source, but we have uh, lake water up here and certain times a year it turns over and it can leave an aftertaste. Myself, it doesn't seem to bother me, but my wife won't even make tea with the uh, city water that comes from the lake. So I've got a zero water uh, pitcher, works fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this water and pour it into a pan because here's one of the problems you have. Frozen, very cold. Stick it in a jar. Then go try to can it. This jar is going to be extremely cold. You try to can it, you might crack your jar. Don't recommend that. So what we're going to do is try to bring it back to room temperature using that uh, filtered water. And uh, we're going to use these pots here. And I'm just going to warm it up only to room temperature. I'm not trying to cook it. The canning process will do that. Now, since this corn has already um, been processed... We're not going to do an extended period of time canning. I'm probably only going to do uh, 10 PSI for like 10 minutes. That's all I'm going to do. And it should be fine. Anyways, that's by the way, as long as you keep everything sanitary, if you screw up somehow, you probably need to do the full 25 minutes. But a lot of prop times, you're just going to make your uh, vegetables kind of mushy. That's all. All right, so let me go ahead and get started. i got to fill one of these pots up with water and start dumping some corn in there. And then what I'm going to do is after I get the corn to where it's uh, starting to get uh, room temperature, I'm going to then take these aluminum trays and I'm going to fill them up with jars. And uh, then I'm going to start uh, ladling over into the jars. And then the other thing is you put one teaspoon of salt per quart size jar. And it just kind of helps with the flavor. I think it's also, uh, it's also a preservative. We have to agree with that. And then uh, you just take and ladle the water that you're using into the jars. And then we're going to put it in the pressure canner, like I said, for 10 minutes at uh, 10 PSI. All right, so that is the plan. Let me get started. Okay, I got my two pots uh, full of uh, eight quarts of corn. So there are 16 quarts here so far. And uh, this one I have maybe enough water. I'm not sure. But th this doggone pitcher takes forever to uh, fill up. So I'm doing a little bit at a time. I think one more uh, fill up and that first one will be done. And then I got to probably take 20, 30 minutes to get enough to be able to fill the other pot where I can put it on the burner. But uh, anyways, we're uh, we're making progress. It's getting there. I should be able to get. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious if uh, it's going to work out. Eight quarts is eight quarts. That's what we'll find out. This This is a pretty good indication. I should say eight pounds of corn so that's eight pounds of corn whether it, it since that's an eight quart pot it kind of looks like it's going to work out that i'll have eight quarts of uh, 
mason jars. So that was my hope. So I think I've got enough to do two full cases. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Okay, I brought the uh, first container of corn to room temperature. And uh, now I've got to ladle it into these jars. And I think what I'm going to do is use a slotted label first because I really want to bring just the corn over and divide it amongst these jars. But this should fill eight jars and then I'll use the remaining liquid just pour it in. Should be pretty easy. But to uh, tell you the truth, the other day when I did my first experiment, I dumped the uh, cold corn into the container and that was super easy compared to trying to do this. So we'll see how it works out. Okay, this is actually working very well. I really didn't have to get a slotted label, ladle, mostly because I didn't have one. I didn't want to go drill into my wife's uh, favorite ladle. So anyways, what I'm doing is there's actually a sufficient amount of uh, water in the ladle when you're filling this up that you just need a little bit to top off. So, so far, I've gone through about half of this. I'm kind of curious if I'm going to get eight quarts or not. I do kind of fill these up maybe a little bit more than you should. It probably should be right when it first starts uh, turning this corner here. So that's what I'm trying to gauge for. You want to keep it below, you know, this threaded area. You got to have plenty of room for expansion. All right, whenever you're canning and it calls for salt, make sure you use canning and pickling salt. This doesn't have the other additives like anti-caking and everything. If you use regular salt, you're going to make your water cloudy. Uh, right now, you can see the water is nice and clear, and we want to keep it that way. It just looks a lot more appetizing. When it's in a metal can, you can't tell what the crap's in there. But in this glass jars, you can. And it looks wonderful right now. We want to keep it that way. So anyways, you got to do a teaspoon of salt for each one of these containers. Now, these boxes leak like a sieve, so I usually put something underneath it when I'm doing. And I'm probably, even though I just stuck all those lids on top of there, I'm probably going to use that platter. Because I end up getting salt all over the place. But the next step is, after I put the salt in, I'm going to wipe the rims. And I'm going to go ahead and get seven of these, because that's the capacity of my pressure canner. And I'm going to stick them in here and get them started. And that's going to take a good amount of time. And so i got to do uh, three runs and a half today, if, if I've got enough. It, so far, it looks like it's working out right. You see that other jar didn't quite come out, but I probably overfilled some of these other ones. But that's okay. That's the way I like it. I usually, when I do this, surprisingly, last time I had one extra quart, which my wife loved. And by the way, this Publix corn smells wonderful. It smells a lot better than the Walmart corn I had the other day. So I don't know if they put some additives, but good golly. And it actually looks like uh, more of a whole kernel corn, which I like as well. A lot of these other ones are chopped off and they're not as good quality, but uh, that's, that's a good looking corn right there. So I'm happy with it. I want you to see what my dogs do. They go crazy. I'm going to take my little elevator down. My rescue dog already hears me. are silly. Me out okay okay I just took my last seven uh, jars out of the pressure canner so I got uh, two cases plus three so I ended up uh, 27 uh, jars of corn today and that'll go with my other two cases that I had finished uh, a few days ago so I gotta wait for these to cool off then I'll put them into the uh, uh, storage racks and that's probably all I need for a while now just keep in mind four cases 
is equivalent to, excuse me, 96 cans of corn. The, the 14 and a half ounce cans. So that's a lot. And it, today it took me uh, several hours, but I got it done. And the process worked much better this time, by the way, kind of heating up the corn, uh, at least to room temperature so it wasn't frozen. And I didn't have any risk of uh, having jars breaking or anything else. And it was just an overall cleaner process. All right, that's it. I hope everybody's treating you well. I hope you're doing well. Do the best you can. God bless.